Hola amigos, this is Level 12 and today we are going to be talking about Hitalia girls as Disney princesses because that's where we're at with this content. And also, while I don't particularly like Disney that much, I do love Disney princess movies and I cannot tell you why. I just do. They, they're great. So just a quick disclaimer, not every princess could be used, so some are missing just because there are more Disney princesses than there are even Hitalia, Car Hitalia girls. Uh, I also added Anna and Elsa because had Frozen not been as successful as it was, both would have become Disney princesses. Frozen was just a massive success and Disney was like, we can make it its own franchise and make even more money than just lumping them in with the rest of the princesses. Also, Belgium and the Czech Republic are excluded because, in my opinion, they're not fleshed out enough for the Disney princesses, even though the, the I think they're called the classical princesses, which are Snow White, Aurora, and Cinderella, they have no personality at all but it's fine, it's fine. So I would like to first give credit to this idea because this was not my original idea. I saw it on Instagram to Cardinal SK and they had this post, hit a girls as Disney princesses. They had their own little thing. I tried to not, there's one character or two characters actually, if you count. There's one pairing that, let me say, that we, that, we both have, but that's only because it fits so well. Uh, they do art, Hitalia edits, they're just great. I think their account's really cute. So you should definitely go check it out if you like this video and check out their original post as well. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first we have Snow White and Lichtenstein. So first of all, why I thought these two would go together is because they're both like really nice and really in tune with nature. Like, I know Lichtenstein, like, she hasn't been seen, like, talking to animals, but I can definitely get that very happy, uh, chipper vibe from Lichtenstein. And also Snow White is also very nice and very just sweet and caring. They're also both relatively young. Snow White is actually 14, <laughs> if y'all didn't know that. And, uh, Lichtenstein is about 12 to 14, so they're similar in age and so they're similar in maturity. I just thought it was a great little connection there and I... I liked it. So the next one is Ariel and Seychelles. This is the one Cardinal SK and I uh, had that were the same, but it just fits so well. I was thinking about putting Seychelles with Moana, but Moana is just s different. Like they, sure, they both have something to do with the ocean, but Seychelles is a little bit more ditzy than Moana. Like Moana seems to have a bigger, is. A, has a greater sense of the world and Ariel she isn't like she isn't dumb but she's just like she doesn't know what a fork is she doesn't like know what the human things are and she's just like so chipper and kind of naive same with Seychelles Say Seychelles isn't dumb or anything she's just naive and chipper and wants the world to know that things are great I'll never get over when she like when England literally called her and was like do not tell them this is where the people are honeymooning and then the next minute Seychelles goes and does that. I just love that. I love Seychelles. I love her character. She's so great. <laughs> next is Belle and Monaco and I felt like this was the best pairing out of all of them and it's because Belle uh, and Monaco are both very bright girls and they're both, well I mean Monaco technically isn't French but it's close enough. They're also like very bright. They're very book smart. And I feel like Belle would be a great gambler, just like Monaco's a great gambler. I think just maturity-wise, they're also both like very similar. They both have very similar like personalities. They're both, uh, again, as I keep on saying, they're both very smart. They're both very uh, book book-wise. And, you know, I don't think Belle necessarily was looking for a suitor. She just found it in the beast. And I think the same is with Monaco and um, Saborga. So, uh, Monaco isn't really looking for a suitor, but Saborga has kind of grown on her. So, it's a very cute interaction. Next, we have Jasmine and Y. And who, who, who thought it was okay that you could just keep this outfit a secret from me of Y? If I ever cosplay Y, this is the outfit I'm cosplaying because look how cool it is. I love this kind of Minhera Lolita chord that we got going on here. I love it. More of this, please. In any event, so Jasmine and Y. So some of y'all may be like, what, what pairing is this? Okay, hear me out. 
They're both like rebellious and rambunctious young ladies. Jasmine leaves her palace all the time just to go hang out in the common town. And then Y is just a rambunctious girl that <laughs> does not want to be under Australia's view. She wants to be her own little micronation. They're both like very independent people. And I just feel like they're both, they both have this kind of edge about them. Like it's a different edge, but they both have an edge. And it's just, I felt like they were really similar in a very odd way. Like nothing like deliberately canon connects them, but Jasmine is this wild spirit that's just out there doing her own thing. And then why is her own little uh, preteen self enjoying life, doing the, doing the things. It's great. It makes sense in my head why I paired them together. Might not make sense to y'all, but we're fine. We're vibing. It's all good. Next is Mulan in Vietnam. And let me tell you, I wrote Mulan, and then on my paper I wrote Taiwan, knowing good and well I meant Vietnam. And then I started looking up pictures for Viet- for Ta I looked up pictures for Taiwan for this, and I'm like, why did I put Mulan and Taiwan together? And then it hit me. I meant to put Vietnam. But anyways, so Mulan and Vietnam I paired together because they are both- strong women and they're both fighters. Mulan is based off an actual, I don't know, I don't know much about the real Mulan as much as I do about say the real Pocahontas, but I know Mulan was supposed to be based off a real Chinese warrior and Vietnam, her character is based off strong Vietnamese um, female generals and I felt because both their characters were meant to embody these strong, powerful, warlike women, I was just like, yeah, let's go! Also, like, d we haven't seen Vietnam in combat, but I feel like Vietnam would be, like, really good in combat. Like, surprisingly good. Like, that little paddle she has? Yes. We, we support. So next we have Tiana and Hungary. And I put them together because both Tiana and Hungary are... Again, I keep on using this word strong. <laughs> I feel like I've used it a lot. But what I mean is Tiana is independent. She, like... Like Belle and Monaco, she wasn't looking for a suitor, it just kind of happened. But Tiana also knows how to stand on her own two feet without a man. Like, <laughs> Prince Naveen was more of just a hindrance to her. And I feel like the same goes for Hungary, the men in her life, Prussia and Austria. She doesn't need them. She can stand on her own two feet. She's strong in her own way, and I'm sure she's, like Tiana has taught Naveen things, she's taught Prussia and Austria things. And also they've both grown from their failures. Hungary from like failing in war, Tiana from, y you know, being poor, basically. But they've both grown and they, and in the end, they both like settled and had a good life with whoever it was they were with. And it's just, I love it. I love that they're both like really good role models. Next is Rapunzel and Taiwan. So, <laughs> Rapunzel is very pretty, kind of a ditz. Taiwan is very pretty, kind of a ditz. They're both, like, they both mean well, I feel, but they're both just not the brightest bulbs out there. Like, there are better things for them than this. And Rapunzel, she has her moments, but most of the time she's just swinging on her hair. Also, Rapunzel is one of my favorite Disney princesses, and it's only because I used to have really long blonde hair and people would call me Rapunzel. That's the only reason. There's no other reason, but I feel like I should say that. But they're also, like, they're just well, very well-meaning and very caring. And also, like, Rapunzel is trapped by Mother Gothel. Taiwan is kind of trapped by China. It's a, it's a, d d a dilemma. It's a dilemma, but, like, it's it's fine, I guess. It's fine. So, next is Merida and Belarus, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I could not remember uh, Merida's name. I thought it was Meredith, but we're fine, I guess. It pulled up, so I, I guess we're good. Anyways, so, Merida is really rough around the edges, and I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but she is rough around the edges. She has, she has more than her moments. She is a bow and arrow, horse riding, bear mother, just doing her thing. And Belarus. Also, I love this 90s anime style of Belarus. I think it's really, like, it's a really nice take on Belarus. Belarus is a knife-wielding psychopath. 
and they both have like no chill whatsoever <laughs> like at all like merida also merida does not end up with a prince in her movie in like belarus i mean technically she wants to date russia but like that's never gonna happen so technically both neither of them have a suitor or a man or whatever and merida is just doing her own thing and belarus is doing her own thing they're just like both like out there and crazy and eccentric and i'm just like even if their like personalities don't really mesh because merida is a f a f good time loving fun person and belarus is an ice queen but you know we're fine that's fine we support belarus in any event so finally we have elsa and ukraine and i know like elsa isn't technically a disney princess but it's whatever it's fine so elsa and ukraine so i kind of put them together because ukraine is technically um she's a cold country she's part of that area of europe i just think is an ice block not gonna lie sorry but I know Elsa like grew up and she's not so much as a crybaby as she was but Ukraine is a crybaby and Elsa had that tendency of hiding away and like not wanting people to see her and I feel like Ukraine has the same problem of not really wanting to be seen by people and also like Elsa it just had these like very worried she used to have a lot of anxiety and used to be very worried about things and Ukraine still is I know Elsa grew up out of it and like Elsa in the second Frozen movies, like, just did her thing. I've never seen Frozen. I've never seen Frozen 2. I have no intention of seeing Frozen. I, I don't get the hype. I don't care. Um, nah, that's my own thing. But I do recognize that she is very profitable for Disney, and I do recognize her, her role in the grand scheme of the Disney things. Whatever. But it's fine, it's fine. So... Uh, before I end this video, I would again like to just say this credit came from Cardinal SK. Uh, thank you so much to them for letting me do this YouTube video idea. I would have never thought of it on my own had I never seen their post. And by the way, I did ask if I could do it. <laughs> I'm not just doing it and they don't know this is happening. But yes, uh, I highly recommend if you like Italia edits, Italia art, even Italia icons, which I may have to snatch one with credit, of course. Snatch with credit, y'all snatch with credit um but yeah just give give them a, a quick little follow their content is very nice very friendly it's i i love content like this I'm not gonna lie so that's it for this video i am going to try and upload uh twice a week now for however long this quarantine thing lasts uh let's hope it's not that long i do have a couple of video ideas in the backlog so i will be able to do them but if you have any suggestions or anything you would like to see be it hitalia related anime related or generally anything related i would happily do a video on it because i know for me content is distracting me from the small apocalypse we're living in right now but that's neither here nor there you're seeing this video on a wednesday if i can get that scheduling correct and we're all just vibing all right we're vibing anyways thank you for watching like and subscribe for more random fandom things ciao chicos